All right, guys, now let's get into the math tips. So I have five last minute math tips. My first last minute math tip is to make sure you write out all of your work when you're trying to solve algebraically. They give you guys pieces of scrap paper. What I like to do is take the scrap paper and actually fold it into smaller squares for organizational purposes. It's called scrap paper management. So when you get your scrap paper from the proctor before the test starts, fold it in half three times. Then when you unfold it, you'll have squares on both sides of the paper. You can put your numbers in the corner of each square and then you can show your work. That way, if you need to go back, you can easily locate what question you have to go back to to see your work and it's just a, a great way to keep track of everything not to mention showing your work helps prevent careless mistakes basics are what get you through and help you get a perfect score all right my second math tip for all of you is to bring your calculator you know if you have a normal graphing calculator like a ti-84 do simple computations on that but use desmos for everything else it's just way easier but if you like the idea of the handheld calculator still so you can quickly punch in some numbers you know just bring that with you all right and that brings me into my third tip which is to use Desmos on questions that have constants in them. So if you see one constant in the problem, like a A, B, or C, then that's a great time to put it into Desmos because you can use a slider for that constant and move the graph around until you get what you want. So it's just a really neat trick. It's not something that your graphing calculator can do, and that's what makes Desmos so powerful. All right, my fourth last minute math tip is to leverage the multiple choice answers if you have to. So listen, there might be a math problem where you're having a tough time figuring out how to set up the equations. And when that's the case, and the front door method isn't working, use a back door method. Start with the answer choices. They give you four of them and plug each answer choice into the question until one of them works. It's a great way to still get the answer and it's a nice scrappy strategy when you can't figure it out the normal traditional way. All right, and my fifth and final last minute math tip, this one is by far my favorite. Try to bank enough extra time so you can go back and redo every question twice. I'll tell you guys, that is how I got two perfect official scores on the digital SAT so far. One last June and then in November. It was only because because I was able to go back and redo every single problem twice to check for careless mistakes. Because careless mistakes are bound to happen. They're almost inevitable. And what's funny is a lot of the times we make careless mistakes on the easier problems because we underestimate them or go too fast or our brain kind of shuts off and we're on autopilot and we're just going through the motions. So I would really encourage you to not just go back to the ones you flagged that you didn't know how to do, but to go all the way back to number one and start over and make sure you can catch any careless mistakes